Welcome to part three of my Chernobyl video series. In this episode, we go into the swimming pool and then into the school cafeteria where hundreds of gas masks litter the floor. We then take a trip to the lake and make sure you watch to the end of this video where we experiment with some highly radioactive fabrics. Maybe if I touch it, maybe, you know, maybe yes, maybe no. You're crazy. So we, you know, cannot enter any buildings because of local instruction due to such reasons. So it's illegal. To, yeah, yeah. Not very, it's not, uh, we are not breaking Ukrainian law. This is just we break local instruction better. Okay. We have to be very careful, but to sneak in, we have to uh, do like this. Or follow me, you know. In this case, no one can see that we inside. Ah, uh, okay. Backward Only footprints. Someone been inside. Right. Maybe guards. Alright guys, we arrived in the swimming pool and have a look here. You can see the lane markers. Whoa. Dream. The most popular sport in Soviet Union was soccer, right? Second one was hockey, the third one was basketball. Okay. So this town had a basketball team called Chernobyl Bulls. And the leader of this, of that team was uh, like main player, uh, Mikhail Giordano. Is that <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it always takes me so long to realize when you're joking because you've got such a serious face. <laughs> no, no, I practice all my years. Yeah. <laughs> you're so convincing. Like a reception. Uh huh. Now we have to play Chernobyl Cherno limbo, limbo like this. <laughs> okay. This is a school number three. Pripyat town had five schools. This is Pripyat school number three. The most interesting room here of the school is school buffet, cafeteria. Cafeteria. With, with guest masks on the floor. Wow. You would not believe this. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you see so many gas masks, but uh, small size. For children. <laughs> all Soviet schools had storages with gas masks. So all, actually, all Soviet public places, kindergartens, school, universities, factories, they had gas mask supply. Right. Because, but here, in this school, they expected nuclear attack from the US, right? Really? Not from peaceful electricity generator, <laughs> which is three kilometers away from here. Okay. You know? So and I in so it was called over time, uh -huh. and in I remember the time and we in Kiev even uh, we had practice mask on off. So our children were taught how to use gas masks. And you were taught as well. Of course, I'm old man, you know.
this is a Soviet magazine called Nature. So, should be flowers, you know, animals, plants. You see, eggs, you know, good nature, forest, uh, rivers, uh, birds, right? Feeding deers, right? Yeah. I don't know, maybe uh, young moose. But why Lenin here? What is it? Oh, Lenin. Lenin, yeah. This uh, magazine called Nature. Right. About nature, about animals and plants and, uh, you know. And dictators. But, yeah, in dictators as well. It was <laughs> <laughs> Soviet nature. Right. Uh, the sign says, we are grandchildren of Lenin. And that's another one of Lenin. Lenin was everywhere. Classroom. And this is the auditorium. School auditorium, yeah. You can see projection, uh, projection room, uh, stage, and screen. Insane. Good soldier, healthy worker, and slave. Uh, inside 0.12 microsieverts. It's nothing. In my apartment, 0 0.21. If we measure radiation outside, come here. Different, right? 2.14. Soviet vending machine. These soda machines, they wouldn't sell Coca-Cola, would they? They used to sell water with syrup and without. Right. But no American brands. But we, in Soviet Union, we, we drink Pepsi, not Coca-Cola. Really? Yeah. Why Pepsi? I uh, ask uh, Soviet authorities why <laughs> they choose Pepsi. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah, so Soviet Union was Pepsi country. Pepsi country. But Pepsi is American, right? Yes, but price for Pepsi was double than for local drinks. Right. It was not very popular because of price. Uh-huh. Okay guys, we've arrived at the Prefet River. And you can see an old abandoned boat there over in the distance. This river is the reason why the nuclear plant is here, right? Right. Right, okay. Because they could use the water for cooling. <laughs> They built the nuclear power plant here because of this river and they used to use the water from it to cool the nuclear power plant. Alright guys, now we're just driving to the hospital. So this is a hospital. So even before 2011, when it was okay to enter any buildings in Pripyat town, this facility was already bothered because it is contaminated inside by first patients. Patients? Oh, all right. Victims. Okay. Who were they? Firemen and workers of nuclear power plant. Right. First firemen were brought here and the doctors took off their clothes and equipment like helmets, belts and so on, shoes. And everything was stored in basement. So basement of this place is very contaminated. Government blocked entrance into basement recently, a few years ago, after a video in YouTube where some crazy people drive bicycle in basement. Imagine. Alright, here's the entrance to the hospital. So this is an entrance into the basement. Oh, and they filled right. that in. Yeah. Yeah. How much? 
You can see. 109. Yes. Seriously. Yeah, come here. Come further. 99. 105. That's insane. And it was two before. When I said it was strong, it was two. And now it's 100. Maybe like this, you know, first uh, one meter from this piece of clothes. Yeah. Actually, it's balaclava, balaclava. Balaclava, yeah. One, point Imagine a basement full of such stuff. And if you touch that, would you get some kind of a... Maybe yes, maybe not. So this thing is... Maybe if I touch it, maybe, you know, maybe yes, maybe no. You're crazy. You're insane. Nothing. So Igor's checking his finger here because he touched that rag and it's no but radiation. Uh, let's do an experiment. Okay. So, let's say it's my finger, yeah? So, 0 0.28, 0 0.27, okay? If I put it here, okay, like this. And keep it again. Nothing, you see? Why? Because no radiation here. So how does the weight radiation work then? Maybe I how it works. But you know, if radiative dust inside of this uh, balaclava, it's like tiny particles. It's not hundred percent. If I touch it, it goes here. But it's possible. It's possible, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode where we explore more of the hospital and much more of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, many more insane scenes to be found. A huge shout out to Solo East Travel, without Solo East Travel these videos would not be possible for me to make and if you're thinking about coming to Chernobyl these are the guys that you want to use. All information is linked below to their website where you can find all the information that you need. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below.